Hey weekend campers! In this video we're going to be taking a look at what's rapidly becoming a required item in your camping accessories. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the Outland 893 propane fire pit now, propane fire pits have been around for a long time, and this is a fairly inexpensive one. What's making it almost a requirement nowadays, however, if, especially if you're living out west, is fire danger. Many of the national forests, including the one we're camping in now, have fire restrictions that prohibit burning of wood and charcoal, and even smokers have to smoke inside their cars or RVs. However, what is still allowed are propane fires, which means that you can still cook with things like a propane grill or a blackstone griddle, uh, and then enjoy a fire around a propane fire pit. Well, those restrictions look like they're going to be in place in this part of Arizona all season long, so that's why we got this fire pit. So, let's take a minute and get it out of the box and take a look at what's included in this model 893 fire pit from Outland. So we've got this out of the box now. It comes with an owner's manual here that uh, is pretty full of information, a lot of the typical warnings and safety things, but a couple of good things that are worth taking a peek at here in the owner's manual. You can see here in front of me there are a couple of bags of rocks. There are uh, two bags of small rocks, one large bag of rocks, and then another bag of uh, spare rocks. So uh, those are going to go in here. We'll uh, show you that when, when I get them all uh, assembled. And then there is the fire pit itself. So there's no assembly required really here for the fire pit. The burners attached, the fire pits here, the uh, cord uh, or the hose with the um, regulator is here. Now there's some couple of good uh, hints in the owner's manual about the, the flow safety connector here in this um, regulator. So you're going to want to make sure that the valve is off and it recommends turning the propane tank on slowly so that the high flow uh, safety sensor doesn't go off. So that's what we've got here in the uh, fire pit itself. And then this kit comes with a couple of extra things. Let me show you what they are. The first extra thing is a lid. This is what makes the 893 the deluxe fire pit. It has this nice lid that'll help keep the rocks in one place when you're moving it around. And then speaking of moving it around, there are um, some straps that you hook on the bottom of the uh, bowl, and then you can keep the lid tight against the fire pit and then use it to carry it around. So those are the extra pieces for this kit versus the standard kit. And then the last piece here is what I think comes with um, each of these and this is a ring that you can put your propane bottle in. Now I've got my propane bottle in a milk carton to give it some uh, stability um, but if you don't you just use your regular barbecue uh, 20 pound style propane tank comes with a nice ring to give it some additional stability when you have it there on the ground. So at this point, I'm going to stop and we're going to put the rocks in and we'll come back when we've got that all together. Okay, so here we have the uh, fire bowl or the fire pit filled with the rocks. We have two packages of uh, the smaller or medium sized rocks and one package of the large rocks. And so at this point, still a couple of hours until sundown. So we'll just set this out and uh, the next time we come back, we'll have it lit and get a chance to see how it works. Okay, so here we have the fire bowl all set up. You can see got the rocks in it, the cord leading over to a barbecue-sized propane tank. We're going to get this thing lit off here. The sun's gone down, but it's still kind of twilight here. For those of you who are sharp-eyed, you may notice that we're not in the same place where we were when we were doing the unboxing, that is because just a couple of hours after that unboxing, the park host came and told us we needed to leave because of a forest fire that had started not too far away. So we left and our next camping trip was canceled because of the same fire. And now, over the last couple of weeks, there have been a ton of rain up here 
near our favorite campgrounds and so the forests are just beautifully green. We can use wood fires, but because we hadn't used this one yet, we're getting ready to fire it up. So we'll take a look here at the valve and we've got it just ready to, to turn on. And so uh, we'll get this turned on and see what kind of a flame this produces. So here we've got it started, started right up after I remembered to turn the tank valve on. It's looking pretty good as you can see. I'm about three and a half feet away from the fire and I can still feel some warmth from the fire and it seems to be burning quite nicely. The instructions for this say that a tank, a full tank of the size that I just showed you should give you know eight to ten hours of burning and so um, Kathy and I here when we're camping usually only spend about an hour or so with our campfire so that'll give us uh, quite a few campfire trips. So I'm going to let the sun go down a little bit more, let it get a little bit darker and then we'll come back and see what this looks like when it's a bit darker outside. So as you can see the Outland fire pit has a very nice fire. It's uh, throwing off some heat and some light here out in the woods. And you can see my little buddy Winston here. This is his first camp out and he's been doing pretty good. But he's interested in going to do something else. So I think I'll put him down in the meantime. We're going to enjoy this fire for a while. So there you have it, the Outland Fire Bowl with a propane tank and out here in the woods. It's really working pretty well. You can see the, uh, the light flickering on my face here as I record this and uh, all in all I'm pretty happy with this purchase. There's nothing to beat a real wood fire and if you look on this channel you'll see a review of the solo stove if wood fires are your thing. But here in this part of Arizona, when you can uh, lose the uh, opportunity for a campfire during fire restrictions, um, having a propane fire pit as part of your camping kit is a really a good investment. So there we have it, the Outland Fire Bowl.